Hi folks, Yachtsman1 here from the Pictures to Exe forum. This is the fifth tutorial on using Pictures to Exe Basic for Newcomers in version 8.0.1. Over to the, the tutorial now. We'll continue this with where we left off yesterday with slide options. I've clicked on the bottom toolbar box here slide options and we'll go to the background image again and at the moment we've got the use own background preference. I'll just untick that for a minute and Right, what we're going to show today, I'll retick that now, we're going to show an image as the background. Rather than a colour or a gradient colour, we're going to show an image. And because we don't want that image to obtrude into the main image picture, we're going to do various things to it to make it less visible. Now. To do this in this section, it puts the uh, image I select under all the images in the file in the slide list here. So I'm going to use a different method of using an image as a background. So just no. Before we go to objects and animation, I'm going to drag drag the background image into the slide list. So left click on the background image and drag it into the slide list. So it's there in the slide list and we can work on it now. You'll see that it's got black borders either side. This is because this image when it was taken some years ago was a different aspect ratio. It was either 5 by 4 or 4 by 3 so what we want it to be now is 16 to 9 so I'm going to go into objects and animation and there's the Bose Museum now round here you can see dots on each corner of this gold box that the image is sat in these enable you to ch move the image around and change how much of it fills the screen and it maintains the aspect ratio of the original so the picture doesn't look stretched. So I'm going to just pull that out to the edge of the black background. Now because we don't want this to be the main focus of the viewer's eye we're going to change the opacity of it, reduce the opacity so it's less visible. But to make that even better we're going to change the background on the image to a lighter background. If you leave the black background there, I'll just show you what happens. It just darkens the picture and that's not the effect I'm trying to show you how to use. So we're going to change the background of the image. So we go to slide options, which is the same toolbar as in the main view click on slide options use own background preference solid color and we click on the box with the A in it and bring up a color palette now I like to use a gray image which is a neutral image as a background when I'm doing this sort of thing so we've now got a gray image in the a gray background in the box there and I'll click OK Right, so I'm now going to reduce the opacity of the main image over the grey background. And you see the effect you get. The image is still there, but it's not obtrusive. Right, we're going to now add the image you want to see on this particular slide to this background. Here you can see the main image highlighted. I need to get rid of that highlight or this background image is go sorry the 
foreground image is going to end up as a child of this image. So just click in the free area of the box there till that stops being highlighted. Right, we go up to the top toolbar now and here you can see a pop-ups happen called add image. So we click on that and this is the image that I want to show. It's a, a portrait view of an astral globe in the grounds of Bowes Museum. So we'll just highlight that and click open. And there you can see the image with the Bowes Museum as the background. Now it stretches to the top and bottom of the background image which to me doesn't look right. So I'm going to just reduce it a little bit so we've got a border all the way around the image. Like that. So once that's acceptable we click close and there you can see the image in the slide list now. So we'll just do a preview of that click pause <coughs> it didn't pause there we are and that's what we've done we've got um, a faint image of the Bowes Museum so to me that picture says this is the Bowes Museum and this is an astral globe in the grounds of Bowes Museum so We'll just shut that down again and we'll call that a draw for this section of the tutorial.